Well, good afternoon my YouTube friends. It's Margaret from Orchids and Garden in England and it's been uh, a while since uh, I've made a video but um, I've never stopped and um, if it's not been with the garden it's been with the orchids and these are the some of the Phragmopediums and what I did yesterday is um, I've actually attached them on uh, wires and the uh, the reason I've done this now these are the ones that are in Rockwell and I did find I've been having quite a few problems can you see there and uh, and when I actually checked. I mean I've got new growths coming. Can you see the new growths? And when I actually checked, um, the media's been too wet. You see that's been a growth that uh, I've had to trim back. And um, here's another one. Can you see there? So, let me see if it'll let, you, let me go in. Can you see the actual stem? Um, I think that one's one of those that wants to rise up. Now let me see which this one is. Oh, it's Beauport. Hmm. So that's what I did yesterday. And um, so every one of these, let me see now when I st step back, you see, so now the lights changed in the grow room as it does because we're coming into autumn and you see these are the other ones these are from that are on the bottom shelf here and you see these get the effect of that oscillating fan and they get the light from the from the actual south facing window. So we walk round here, you see these are these two big ones here. Um let me just come back a bit. These are the ones that are in semi hydro. I've just brought the dendrobium gotten sun ray down and placed this on this top shelf because of course that's quite a big tall orchid and there's um, frag now which is this one which is that big that's grande so they're, they're doing all right but the the uh, the hot weather that we had played havoc with them absolutely played havoc so at least now by this window um, they've got this oscillating fan here it comes up and it turns around and it's keeping them nice and cool and of course uh, I've had the window open quite a lot I've still got it open but only on the the first latch and um, this is uh, Lelia Anseps and I've just got this wedged here can you see a new growth there and a new growth appeared there. Now this will have to be watered. This is the uh, Tulumnia. Can you see new roots coming? You can't see it, can you, because of the light? So, beach. And that sits up there because the light is beneficial for them. Now you're not going to see too good are you here. So let's just take these off as I bring it round and show you. So this is um, Catacetum Pileatum Yellow Giant and that's the first of the flower buds to appear. Don't think we've any more. That's on that one. And a 
again. Likewise, where is it? Can you see? Oh, better lift it over at the time. There. Can you see that one? And likewise for the uh, Catacetum Orchid Glade Davy Ranches. And I've been thinking, well, where's this one? You'll see that dry bit there. It's just tucked underneath. So, that one's going to flower this time. And of course, that was Tarunia Scandens. Now, there we go. Just a little change round here. This is the big pastoral innocence up here in the gods. Let's just tuck that in there. And this is Bowman's old palm. And I've lifted this here. And I've bought the Caesis Lemingii here. And the uh, Aredes Falcatas here, so that can get the light, and it's giving me a new centre leaf. And that's the uh, Lelia Perperata there. I've had to reduce the uh, mounts that I've put together on the fowls. Can you see them there? Um, it was a little bit unstable, so I'd, I split them. And of course, oops, I've, had to, I've moved my lights. And these are some of the phalaenopsis. And of course, this is Cattleya Perseviliana winter. Now, I had a few bugs on this one. And I'm trying to clear, and of course this is Cattleya Walker, and I'm trying to clear them up. And so, and the reason I altered the lights is because um, I'm hanging all the uh, Cattleyas here. Look at that, I trapped the root. Can you see it there, blackened? I trapped the root, so I was trying to... Reduce what I've tried to do is reduce some of the media. I mean, I've got green roots in here, uh, and this is Delosa, but these are two of the uh, Phalaenopsis. But all these others, I've taken out as much media as I can, and uh, and just placed. Inorganic media. There we go, you see? That's uh, Leodora. There we go. And we've got a new growth tucked there. Whether you'll see it from this end. That's uh, Yen 24. Okay, so they're all tucked under here and I've got lights and when the light comes through this window in the morning of course it bathes this area and then I've got the grow light as well which I've moved this way and this way, these are some of the phalaenopsis and the gods. And I've been trying to peel some of this outer sheath back on this Cattleya Dusky Maid because they get very sticky. So I try and pull it back, but. Um, for the green area now. I'm so conscious of um, this getting too hard. 
But anyway, that's been watered and is doing very well. I'll cut these off. Just look a mess. Um, this is the, uh, oh, yes, the Lelia Labata. And I've brought this here. Can you see all the new roots? Lots of new roots. And here's another one. This is um, Cilogeny speciosa. And can you see just tucked under there, we've got something coming under there. So, hopefully, I seem to have a little bit more space. I don't know why. And there's that wall there. Oh, sorry. I keep forgetting that that's the the big highlight one. And this is this wall here. So uh, these, these are the um, dancing lady type. Well, I think they are. So um, I've not reduced the media in there. I'm hoping I can keep um, my eye on that. But the reason for reducing all the media is uh, simply to um, avoid the, the plant staying too wet because that's going to be the biggest killer over the winter months and we start this weekend with the cooler temperatures there we go down on that bottom row there I've got some of the patio pedlums and these are some of the others in these holy clay pots and the, this is the direction that the uh, that big grow light was aimed at and some of the phalaenopsis there and these are of course uh, the vandas that one doesn't do very well does it but it's all right and these others they're doing fine and this is that new growth on the uh, procatabolia this flowered for me last year and these are some of the cooler ones here I must remember the Sedira uh, um, Deponica up there that needs watering I just thought we'd finish off in the garden these are some of the colchicums the autumn flowering Crocus. And we've got two new spikes on the yucca. There we go. It's lovely and warm at the front here. So we've moved some of the flowers round here because we can see these from inside. There we go. South facing. And then, oh, here's some more of the colchicums. Autumn is upon its way. Look at the uh, hostas already shutting down. But otherwise, are doing quite well and in fact some of the um, dahlias are only just in flower I can't see anything now because the sun's in my face.
and of course it's Friday so everybody's coming home to enjoy the weekend. Sorry about that. <coughs> there we go. And we've got some more. The daily is over here. Excuse the noise of the traffic. So I'm going to take my leave of you. Do have a nice weekend. See, the, the big ginger lily shutting down. This is the one <clears throat> that we got this year, so these are still quite fresh. So from... Uh, so from me to you... Take care. Bye-bye now.